Harris was asked about the possibility of becoming the first female president in U.S. history. She said she does not expect anyone to vote for her because of her gender or race. Said she wants to win their vote with a plan to make their lives better. Okay, Florida is in its second week of early voting and people are still packing the polls. Our camera is capturing a large turnout of voters. This is Miami-Dade and the election headquarters there in Doral. That's where we find Local 10 Syra Onward. She's live this morning to tell us what voters need to know this election. Good morning to you, Syra. Good morning, Alex. We're less than two hours from early voting sites reopening for the day. The last few days you can get your early vote in before Tuesday's election day on November 5th. Uh, there were lines here yesterday. You can actually on the elections website look up a wait time. So if you think there's going to be a long line, you can go a couple of miles down the road to another site. That's the perk of early voting, right? You can go to any site within your county to cast your ballot. That won't be the case on election day. But we also checked in with the supervisors of elections for both Broward and Miami-Dade counties just to see how everything's going. Mail-in ballots across Broward County individually processed and counted in this secure facility in Fort Lauderdale ahead of election day. We have four more days and then we have election day. So, you know, we're really in great shape because I think probably as many people have has voted already, we'll probably see just as many people vote between now and the uh, close of the polls on Tuesday. The prediction so far, an 80% overall turnout in Broward County, where early voters have 29 location options across the county to cast their early vote. People can also hand deliver their absentee ballot at the same locations. I think it'll be a, a record turnout. Here are the latest numbers. Hundreds of thousands have voted in South Florida, close to 42% voter turnout so far in Miami-Dade County. In Broward County, more than 43% of voters have cast a ballot early. In Monroe County, that number is close to 50%. Proof of that high turnout evident yesterday at this early voting site at the Miami-Dade County Elections Headquarters in Doral. We checked in with the supervisor of elections there. My suggestion to you at this point is to drop it off at one of our drop boxes. I'm not encouraging voters to put it in the mail anymore. You don't want to take the chance that it gets here too late. The deadline for us to receive it is 7 p.m. on election day. And just an absolute trove of great resources online. You can track your mail-in ballot. You can find your nearest polling location, look up hours. You can see wait times, all of that good stuff. Valid forms of ID if you're voting in person. All of that we have on our website. Links to both uh, counties' election sites. Just head to local10.com. We are live in Doral this morning. Syra Onwar, Local 10 News.